In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And my brothers and sisters, we come to celebrate this feast day of St. Bartholomew the Apostle. We take a moment to call to mind how good it is to be Catholic, and how we truly are built upon the foundation of the Apostles, as we offer to God our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For You alone are the Holy One, You alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Strengthen in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung wholeheartedly to your Son, and grant that through the help of his prayers, your Church may become for all the nations the sacrament of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. The angel spoke to me, saying, Come here. I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb, and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It gleamed with the splendor of God, its radiance was like that of a precious stone, like jasper, clear as crystal. It had a massive high wall with 12 gates where 12 angels were stationed, on which names were inscribed, the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. There were three gates facing east, three north, three south, and three west. The wall of the city had 12 courses of stone at its foundation, on which were inscribed the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom, making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Your friends make known, O Lord, 
the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, today we celebrate the feast day of St. Bartholomew, who is also known as Nathaniel, hence our Gospel reading today. And Bartholomew, of course, is one of the apostles Bartholomew is believed to have traveled to India to help do some conversion there, and then he went to India. There he converted the king, which caused a great coup in the kingdom, and he was martyred because he converted the king to Catholicism. But in many ways, Bartholomew or Nathaniel really shows us a very important principle in the spiritual life. And that is this, in our Gospel reading, we see how Nathaniel comes to believe in God. And so often when you hear about people's faith, they will share about how they came to believe in God, how they came into the church, how they came to know that God is real. What we don't hear so often is the stories about how someone sustains and grows in that faith, moving from believing in God to truly being friends of God, moving from knowing about God to dedicating your life and being a disciple and apostle. Of Christ. And isn't it interesting, in so many ways, we don't hear these stories about the apostles. We hear about how they were called, maybe what they did before they were called. We know how they were martyred, where they were martyred. We know where their tombs are, and that's about it. It's everything in between that we often don't hear. And I think there's a beautiful spiritual lesson in this that we don't necessarily know those stories, because for each of us, that story is different. Each of us is called to have a personal, individual relationship with Christ. Each of us is called to be a unique disciple. And thus, if we knew, blow by blow, how the disciples became disciples, I think it would take away from the creativity that God has with us and the originality that we are called to have in our walk with the Lord, meaning that we're called to really own it, that it is our personal walk with him. The mistake we make so often is we think that just believing in God is enough when really we're called to have that living relationship with him. In our first reading today, we hear from the revelations and we hear how the walls have the 12 tribes of Israel written on them, the foundation has the names of the 12 apostles in this new and heavenly Jerusalem. And it is true that the new and heavenly Jerusalem is an image for the church of the book of Revelation is all about the foundation of the Catholic Church, founded on the 12 apostles, founded through the 12 tribes of Israel. And we know that we are called to be this precious and holy and beautiful city, this true people of God. We become that people of God by living our psalm response. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. 
your friends. Not just those who merely believe in you, not just those who merely are obedient to you, but your friends make known the glorious splendor of your kingdom, the kingdom here on earth, the kingdom that we are part of when we are obedient to the Father, obedient through the Ten Commandments. I can't help but think of the reading, the gospel reading for this past Sunday, and how we reflected on how this great scandal came about because Jesus was preaching on the necessity of the Eucharist, on the absolute truth of the Ten Commandments, but also on this turn towards the kingdom of God and how most of his followers left because they could not believe in that. But his friends stayed. People like Bartholomew stayed. And we pray that we too, who dedicate ourselves to prayer, to our rosaries, to service in the church, may truly be friends of God, that we may make known the glorious splendors of the kingdom of God here on earth and in heaven, and that like Bartholomew, we may truly live our lives for him and truly do great works for the kingdom of God that become a foundation for the faith of others in the future. God bless you. And as we come to this Mass, we offer our prayers and petitions. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop William, all bishops, priests, deacons, all who serve in the church and our communities, that we will always be faithful. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all the sick and suffering, all those who are at hope, those who do not believe in God and those who care for them, that they will know Christ's healing touch. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our parish communities, our own families that we may support one another in truly being friends of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died, all those who will die this day, that they will know God's eternal love. We pray to the Lord. And we pray this Mass in a special way in reparation for all harm done by members of the Church. We pray for a greater healing and holiness in the way that we live out our faith in these days. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, as we celebrate the feast day of St. Bartholomew, remembering the way that he preached and died for you, help us to be courageous, to truly be your friends, that in being friends of you, we may truly help others to know the glorious splendor of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of all his holy church. As we celebrate anew the feast day of St. Bartholomew, O Lord, we pray that we may obtain your help through the intercession of the Apostle, in whose honor we bring you the sacrifice of praise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for having built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now with for ages unending, Thou the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, St. Bartholomew, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen, grace to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we give those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace, O Lord, be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we celebrate the feast day of the blessed Apostle Bartholomew, we have received the pledge of eternal salvation, O Lord, and we pray that it may be of help to us, both now and for life to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. I hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless you.